So here we are today with Tal and Halim. They are co-founders of Phytalan, a company that will revolutionize the industry of natural food coloring. What is the big problem that your product is solving? The world today is uh, going uh, through a revolution of using natural and healthy products in our food instead of synthetic products. Food coloring until a few years ago was mostly comprised of synthetic colors, harmful. And the problem that uh, we are solving is that the natural colors today are not good enough to compete with synthetic colors in terms of cost and quality. We have an innovative technology by which we do not use plants at all for production of plant pigments of natural colors. So uh, our colors produced in yeast using microorganisms through a, a natural uh, procedure called fermentation. Uh, we bring these natural colors uh, in a very pure and high quality manner, uh, providing these results. Could you tell us more just about the process? What does it look like in, in your laboratory? How are these uh, products being created? Somebody on your staff that comes to work, what are they actually doing? So everything begins with, uh, with the yeast. We teach them using uh, methods that were considered to be science fiction just a decade ago to find the best candidate, the best yeast that can produce the most color in the shortest duration. So basically our, our team of scientists and engineers, they come, they learn how to cultivate them in a way that will be cost efficient for the industry. So you take the yeast, you start by growing them in small tubes, and then you move on to a larger scale to a real fermentation tank. Now fermentation is a process really similar to brewing. We also use baker's yeast, the yeast used to, uh, to make bread, to make wine, to make beer. So the process itself is very safe and, um, and the end product is a natural pigment. During the fermentation, these do a beautiful thing, which really makes our process economical. They produce the pigment and they just really spontaneously release it to the water in which it grows. And basically at the end of the fermentation, all we have to do is separate the yeast and we have a color solution in our hands that contains our natural pigments. Now we take this coloring solution and we simply put it into food. I understand that this company also has workers who are Muslim, Christian, and Jewish Israeli citizens working together. Right? Yeah, this is important to us to, uh, to, have, uh, to exploit the potential that is, uh, that is embedded in, uh, in our society here in Israel, right. uh, Arabs and Jews and Christians and Muslims, and this is how our company is structured as well. Amazing. What, what is the market size? Can you talk a little bit about numbers and the potential for, for your company? The market is, is rapidly growing, especially also of, uh, with the growing uh, market of uh, plant-based meat and alternative meat and cultural meat. All of these products require natural coloring uh, within this scope of uh, colors and this range that we introduce. Um, uh, the size of the market is about $3 billion uh, right now, and it's expected to be rapidly growing in the next few years. Now our colors were found to be highly competitive in most of these um, applications, so we can really reach all segments of this market. And what, what's your vision for your company in the next five years and 10 years? And then what do you need to get there? Uh, we are initiating a financial round very soon. Uh, which will enable us to go through the regulation and uh, uh, to expand our R&D to generate sales channels. We uh, are conducting uh, a few pilot projects with uh, some of the biggest uh, food manufacturers and food ingredient manufacturers in the world, including Nestle Ice Cream, IFF Fruitorum, and two additional uh, industry leaders in Europe. And right now we are uh, looking forward to move ahead to the next stage of uh, collaborations with these entities that can be our potential clients. These days we will be glad to expand our collaborations uh, and to look for partners in the US, uh, both in terms of uh, investments and also collaboration. Regarding investment, where are you right now? How much have you raised? Where, where do you want to go from here? In the last two years and a half, we have managed to raise about $6 million. We have the privilege to work with the highly experienced and highly supporting investors and partners and we are planning to initiate our next financial round uh, at the end of the summer 2021 
we are welcoming any investors from the states that uh, wants to explore this investment opportunity. So uh, you mentioned that the, the market today is around $3 billion and growing. Uh, what do you hope will be your section of that, of that market five years down the road? Given that uh, we can uh, provide a wide range of colors and our colors are applicable in multiple food categories, our addressable market uh, is really big. It's about 70% of this market. In addition, uh, the growing plant-based meat and alternative meat market is estimated at uh, $40 billion. In the long term, we are also uh, planning to uh, commercialize our colors uh, in the cosmetics and textile and the printing industry. These markets also require a, a replacement of the synthetic colors with the natural colors, and we think that our colors also apply there. So friends, this is an amazing company with, with fantastic potential, and they're, they're at, still at an early stage. So this is an exciting time to, to get in for investors, and I encourage you to take a deeper look.